Hello and welcome to the British Dapper and today we're talking about men's party season outfits. So today you join me in our summer house. Uh, our house has been renovated at the moment so we had to relocate where we did the videos from which means that we're in the summer house which is fully electrified it has heating and uh, it's been insulated as well so not a bad environment to be in but today's video is about men's party season outfits and this is linked to a message that was sent to me by Scott who was asking a question about people that wear different coloured jackets with their black tie and so I've incorporated that into this video because it is relevant to the subject but also we are leading into the party season what with Thanksgiving and Christmas and other uh, events happening at this time of the year so I thought it would be appropriate and time appropriate to discuss this subject so first of all when I think about uh, this time of the year I have a number of functions to attend and some are quite high level so it requires me to wear black tie for example winter balls um, Christmas parties work related meetings or uh, parties to attend not only that also other functional events to attend as well so it is that time of the year where sometimes black tie is ideal for a ball or it's identified on the invitation that you're required to wear black tie but other times it might be a question of wearing that lounge suit and lounge suits um, I would suggest if you're going to wear a lounge suit then maybe look at something along the lines of uh, a dark lounge suit and in a previous video I did cover this subject and so just reflecting back on what I said in this video here so at some point you may be invited to an evening ball or a get together of some description and uh, you need to dress for the occasion and sometimes there's a dress code applied to that function so for example it could be lounge suits it could be black tie and uh, it could be very formalized in some cases and today's video is just steering you through some of the options available to you and how we might wear them or pair them for certain events so the first one we're going to talk about is the lounge suit. So on an invite you might see something where it says dress code lounge suits. Now what this means is basically a suit. So we're talking about a dark navy suit or a black suit. It's worn in the evenings and we wear a tie that is quite dull. It's not a bright coloured tie, so it would be uh, muted colours. So in this case, I like to use a burgundy tie with a slightly black pattern on it to uh, complement the blackness in the suit. And also the pocket square, I use a, more of a folded version rather than the puffy uh, example. And I use something that's got black and burgundies in it again. We use a white cotton shirt. And with that, it's a double cuff shirt. So we've got some cufflinks to go with that. It just elevates that style a little bit more. And if it comes to a watch, then we're using something that is uh, black strapped or plain metal, not a colored uh, face. Try and go for a white or a black faced watch as an example. Now, uh, in this video, we're showing you the outfit. So here you can see uh, from the start, it's quite a nice aesthetic to look at. It's not 
too much in your face, but it also demonstrates how powerful the color black can be uh, with black Oxford shoes in this case, and we're using cufflinks and uh, quite a nice elevated look. Suit is a straightforward two buttoned notched lapel uh, suit, pretty much a standard suit, but it is jet black in colour. And uh, in an evening setting, especially for a ball or something along those lines, then uh, black or very dark inky black or inky blue coloured suit is ideal for evening wear. So I also mentioned about the use of black tie and various methods of using black tie. Um, and I did cover that in the video, a previous video. So therefore, I think it's appropriate just to revisit that purely on the black tie aspect. But if you want to watch the whole video, then I'll put a link to that as well. This is a little bit more formal. It's uh, more of a uniform as such. And uh, I'm going to show you pretty much a traditional look that you'll see quite often with people wearing black tie. So here we are dressed for a black tie event. You'll notice with this, it's a double breasted uh, dinner jacket. We're in a white handkerchief as a fold over and we've self tied a black tie, bow tie. The shirt is a covered placard and uh, cufflinks with a French cuff. And we're wearing some really shiny shoes with this. It's uh, quite common to see this. Now you'll notice here, I'm wearing a waistcoat. This is a traditional look for um, a dinner jacket. And uh, so therefore a waistcoat is quite common to see with this form of dress. The other form that you'll see is what we call um, a cummerbund, and I'll show you that version as well. So in this version, we're using a cummerbund, and this is basically something that arrived from hot climates and uh, quite uh, sticky situations, quite humid conditions. And it was an invention, I believe, by uh, the Americans, really, where they decided the waistcoat was a little bit too much on top of a dinner jacket as well. And bearing in mind, the really good ones are made of very, really good quality wool. So in this case, they decide to introduce something else to pay homage to the waistcoat, but be more comfortable to wear. And so this is where it came from. And if you're unsure about what way it should be facing, then the quickest way of remembering this is it's a crumb catcher. So the little pleats that go across, they should be facing up so that any crumbs would drop into them. And to be fair, you might hear from time to time where somebody's actually found the crumbs in there after the night's event. So once it comes to black tie, then there are many different versions of black tie. So, so when we talk about uh, that situation where you want to dress a little bit differently then answering Scott's question really about what is my opinion about people that wear different colored jackets or different types of jackets with their black tie ensemble I'm not against that uh, in certain circumstances uh, for example cocktail parties um, that sort of thing where black tie is not strictly enforced, for example, it might be evening wear mentioned, then I think it's totally appropriate. And uh, there are some lovely velvet jackets out there at the moment. And they do go particularly well with black tie trousers, a black tie waistcoat potentially. So it is an alternative to the black tie jacket that uh, most people would wear. And they do come in a lovely range of colours. So not only velvet, but they could also have those 
typical peak lapels or shawled lapels and uh, they could even be quilted as well for example like a typical smoking jacket look very very nice look but you can also have those brocade jackets as well which are really have some bright colors and some really nice embroidery work done on them as well and they really do stand out they're a real pop of color so they would go really well with dark trousers black trousers black shoes and also that black tie look and i think it's a very nice look for cocktail parties or something that's a little bit more lively as an event to attend and i have no qualms about this uh, i think black tie is great in the right setting but in the wrong setting it can be a little bit boring and a bit flat compared to other people that might be attending so it is very much a case of gauging the type of event you're attending and the type of look you want to go for and what you think other people might potentially wear so if it is a ball and black tie is specified then I would suggest black tie ensemble is the way to go. Whereas if it's evening wear or it's a cocktail party or some other type of function, then maybe black tie might be a little bit over the top for that when nobody else is wearing it or it's not been specified. So maybe that compromise might be that brocade jacket or that velvet jacket with the rest of the black tie ensemble interestingly i was at a meeting only a few weeks ago in london where we had a presentation by tim uh, who gave us a presentation on the blazer and specifically in the rowing fraternity and he highlighted the rowing black tie which is black tie trousers, shirt and also bow tie. But the only difference is the jacket is changed for a rowing blazer, for the blazer of your club. And I thought that is very typical of what we're talking about today. In that whilst you're going to be wearing black tie, you might change that for that really sumptuous velvet jacket or that brocade jacket or that smoking jacket which is a very nice almost Edwardian Victorian look so it does add a little bit of detail and it's very very attention grabbing so on the face of it I'm not against any of those looks I just feel that sometimes it's just a case of picking the right ensemble for the environment that you're going to be in or the type of event you're attending that might be the only rub point about the type of thing you're going to wear but overall I think it's a really good look I would suggest though if we're talking about wearing something that is more like a normal jacket with for example black tie trousers or that black tie look that doesn't really go very well that can be quite jarring and whilst I can accept that uh, young people will frequent charity shops and they might wear a black tie jacket with other colored slacks or trousers um, I think as a statement and uh, being controversial as a young person that's understandable but it's not necessarily a good look for somebody attending a formal function or event so I would suggest be careful with the jacket selection that you use and I would suggest not using a black jacket unless it's a black velvet jacket with those black tie trousers it can be a little bit too close to look like a suit 
but not look in keeping with that smoking jacket look or that velvet dinner jacket look. The other thing to bear in mind is that wool jackets don't go particularly well with black tie trousers. There's too much of a contradiction between the very fine material that normally find, you normally find in black tie trousers because they're normally made of wool, mohair mix, even cashmere can be in that mix as well. So they and they are quite thin material compared to very thick, coarse wool materials. I think you'll find it's a little bit too much of a, a gap in the level that you're trying to achieve, and so it does look a little bit too of a too much of a misfit. So I would be very careful with that. But I am totally up for somebody wearing that heightened look if you like from black tie to something like that brocade jacket or that velvet jacket or smoking jacket I think it's a very cool look but I would be very careful to use some other form of jacket with those black tie trousers shoes and the rest of the ensemble with the exception I would add of that rowing blazer look and that's a very specific type of function that you would be attending when you wore something like that. So just a few minutes just talking to you about my views on that type of look to consider for this time of the year when we've got those parties starting up the party season what I would say is uh, when we go away from the more formal look, then the world's your oyster. I would suggest if we're looking at uh, a very informal function, then a sports jacket of some description, a pair of trousers, maybe a tie, certainly a pocket square, goes really well. Uh, the other thing to consider is I would avoid wearing jeans potentially unless it's a very informal lunch or get together. But I would suggest, if you're not sure, then consider a lounge suit of some description, if we're looking at something semi-formal or almost business-like. Or if it's much more informal than the sports jacket look, or maybe a blazer, um, they go really well at this time of the year. And, uh, they do provide you with the opportunity to wear a tie if you wanted to wear one. But if not, then maybe wear a slightly patterned shirt to go underneath those jackets or that uh, look. Or maybe a coloured shirt to give it a little bit of life, especially if you're going to something that's very much like a cocktail party or a relaxed work do, for example. So just a few ideas for you there. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll be interested in your views on this subject. What do you wear at this time of the year for that party or that special event at this time of the year? So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did give us a thumbs up, if you'd like to subscribe then please feel free to do so. We have a buy me a coffee page so if you'd like to make a contribution to the channel then please feel free to do so. We also love constructive comments, so if you'd like to make some, jot them down below. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. And if you've got a question you'd like to pose to us, or you'd like an answer to, then why not jot it down? We'll try and answer your question for you. We also like ideas for future videos, so if you want to make a contribution and make a, a suggestion about future content, then please Again, jot it in the notes below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. The next video could be something that you've recommended or suggested. So until next time, take care.